Hi there and welcome to this video. Did you know that HestiaCP has a built-in SMTP relay? So if your VPS provider is blocking certain email ports like port 25, then you can use the built-in email relay in HestiaCP. So for you to set up the relay, you can do it in two ways. First of all, you can set it, you can set it up per domain. So if you're hosting multiple domains, you can set it up per domain that you're hosting on your HestiaCP server. You can also set up a global SMTP relay. Let's start with where you can set up the global SMTP relay. So first of all, go here. Make sure you're logged in as the admin on your Hestia panel and then go into the settings, server settings. And then you want to come here under configure, server configurations. We want to go straight to mail server. So here under mail server, you can see let me just make this larger. So here under mail server, you can set up global SMTP relay. If you just enable that, you will need a host, a port, username and password. And these are things that you can get from your SMTP provider. Let me do a quick example with Mailgun. So if you have to use Mailgun, this video will use Mailgun as well. The thing about global SMTP relay, you can add all the SMTP settings here, but your SMTP provider will probably not allow emails to be sent if a domain has not been verified on their end. So you'll have to go there and verify the email that you want to send with. I will come to Mailgun and we're going to try and get some of these details. So if we go into Mailgun, I will also increase the font this side sending if you come here under sending this is where you can add a domain to send via mailgun and if you've just created your account on mailgun you'll see there's this button for add new domain so you have to add a domain that you want to use for sending mail i do have a different mailgun video if you don't see this button how you can make sure this button is showing up that usually means that you've not added a credit card so you won't have that button so if i click to add a domain i can add the DNS settings for that domain and then I will use that domain on HSTCP. But by default Mailgun has given us this test for testing. So I will use the testing one to get the details that I need. When you're on Mailgun, you see you can send mail via API or via SMTP. So in this case, let's just select SMTP. So once you choose a domain, just click on it like I did and then come here under SMTP. And once you select the SMTP, if you scroll down, you're going to see your SMTP details. So the host name is there. That is my host name. And I can add that back here on the server. So that will be my host name. Please note that the sample domain that I get with that I get on Mailgun cannot be used for sending mail outside. You have to have verified email addresses to send it. So if you're going to send to a certain email, you have to add that email as a verified email. So this cannot be used in production, but you can always add your domain. And I have a video for that. I will put the link in the description. If you don't find it, just let me know and I will add it. Sometimes I forget. You can also use Amazon says, and you just need the hostname, port, username and that. So that is the username. I'll put that there. The port is 587. 587. And then the password. Let's come back. That is our password. Copy. I will put that there. And if you save. Now, your SMTP here should be working but you probably won't be able to send mail because you still need to add dns records so what does that mean for you it means that for me i'm just doing a sample because i want to show you that it exists in a stcp but if you come here under domain you can click there add a domain let's just add an example here example.com let's see if that's going to add and then you can choose a region for the domain the data center and then i'm going to click there on add domain so the domain cannot be added. Why don't we add example zero.com? All right. So once you add that domain, you'll need to edit the DNS settings. 
and the DNS records have been provided here. So you'll need a TXT record, TXT record, and then MX, MX, and then there's also a CNAME record that you add on your DNS, whether it's Cloudflare, whatever. You need to add all these records for you to be able to send mail. Now, usually you'll find that you just don't want to add the mail on the global SMTP relay. Sometimes you just want to add it on a domain. So for that, let's come back into users. If you just want for a particular domain, go into the user with all your websites or the user with the website that you want to add the SMTP relay for. And then you can come under mail. Let's go into mail. And then first of all, add the mail domain. If the domain that you want to work with mail doesn't exist under your mail, you can add the domain there. And you can see when you're adding the domain, there's also an option to add SMTP relay down there. So you can add the domain if it doesn't exist. But for this one, let's use this as an example. I'm just going to click on it and you can edit mail domain. If you edit mail domain, you can enable SMTP relay for this domain only. And you'll add the host name, whether you're getting them from Amazon says send grid, wherever you're getting the details from, get them, put them there, save, and then you can start sending mail as long as you have added the DNS records as directed by your SMTP provider. So I just wanted to highlight this because I know somebody asked me how they could send mail if their VPS provider is blocking the port. But if you're using HTTP, you just need to enable SMTP relay, log into a third party email provider with SMTP, and you can use those details to send mail. So the most important thing, you have to make sure that you add the DNS records that you're given by the SMTP provider. So I hope this video is going to help you set up mail on your HTTP using SMTP Relay. See you in another video. In the next video, let's see how I can, can set up remote backups using backup plays on HTTP. So we're going to come back to this panel in the next one and then set up remote backups for HTTP.